Good evening. Good night, teacher. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Good night, Miss. Hello, hello. Okay, we're about to start. Uh, hello, hi, I can see Maritza, Sofia, Carlos, Cristina is there. Sara Elizabeth is there as well. Hello, class, how are you? Fine. You're fine? Fine. There we go. How's the weather today? How's Oops. the weather today? It's raining right now. It's raining? Yes, it's raining. raining, you know. It's raining. The same during the weekend. Yesterday, it was a very rainy day as well. And the same as today. Today, you know, by the time of the class, it is always raining. Vamos a esperar a sus compañeros un minuto más para que se unan. Y podamos dar inicio. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo Buenas estuvo noches. su hello, hello. ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana largo? Was it good? Was it bad? Was it good? Was good. Was good. Was good. Excellent. Para poder hablar de casa, hay que activar el audio. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. So we can start with the class. Do you remember the topic from last weekend? The want or the exercise that we were practicing on Thursday? What was the last exercise? Do you remember the exercises from Thursday? ¿Qué estaba viendo el jueves? La última clase. Let me see if you still remember. We were making questions. What type of questions? Yes, Using the no present, question. continuous, yes, yes, no question, in WH word questions as well. Estamos repasando <coughs> eso muy bien. Y si te fijan, el presente continuo, ¿cuándo lo usamos? When are we going to use the present continuous to talk about activities or actions that are happening in this moment? Okay? In this moment. Vamos a ver. Okay, I'm ready now. I already have 13 students. Tengo 13, 14, vamos ya. Eh, let me check the chat. Dice Carlos, yo le escucho, pero veo que no me escuchan. Eh, try to talk, please. Trate de hablar, a ver si lo escuchamos ahorita. Uh, no, we cannot. Veo que sí está activado el micrófono, pero, bueno, en mi caso no lo puedo escuchar. ¿Y ustedes, compañeros? No sé si le pueden escuchar, ¿verdad que no se puede? No, no, se, escucha, no, se, escucha. no se le escucha, Carlos. Voy a ingresar, entonces, tal vez escucha. los audífonos. Uh -huh. okay. Muy bien. Está lloviendo muy fuerte. Exacto, aquí también está lloviendo muy fuerte, pero vamos a... A ver, eh, si nos falla el internet, acuérdense. En caso de que me llegue a desconectar, siempre eh, trato de entrar o es alguien más que me apoya entrando, pero eh, siempre se los notifica por cualquier situación y si no en el chat les estaría diciendo, porque puede ser que falle y eh, se sale tal vez de nuestras manos, pero vamos a hacer lo mejor que podamos. Bien, class. It's time to start the class. And let me ask you, 
Can you tell me what class is this one? ¿Qué clase vamos ya? This is class number. Who can 23. tell me? 23. Mm -hmm. 13. 13. Oh, 13. 23. No, it's not 23, it's 13. Remember that we only have 16 classes. If for this week, we are going to finish with section number five. And the topic for section number five is what are you doing? And especially, we are going to talk about the time, expressing the time in English. And the question that we use to ask about the time in English is this one. What time is it? What time is it? I guess you have heard about this question and you have used as well. Creo que ya la han usado, ¿verdad? ¿Qué hora es? What time is it? And this is class 13. Clase 13, vamos ya. Imagínense, clase número 13. So, for this week, we have section number five. And this is the teacher's name in case that you don't remember. So, Let's start right now with the platform. If you go to the platform in section number five, the first video that we have, it's about a conversation. Vámonos a la plataforma a ver qué tenemos ahí. Section number five, activity 5.1. This is just vocabulary, extra vocabulary for us to learn a little bit more about asking the time. Veamos el video. Let's go watch the video. Aquí vamos, chicos. Here we go. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to talk about different cities and international time zones. Additionally, you will practice a conversation between two people in different time zones. Let's get started by listening to a short audio program to practice different cities around the world. Let's listen and repeat. Vancouver, Los Angeles, Mexico City, Lima, Montreal, New York City, San Juan, Brasilia, Sao Paulo, London, Casablanca, Cape Town, Warsaw, Moscow, Riyadh, Seoul, Bangkok, Tokyo, Sydney. Now let's listen to a conversation. Okay, before we continue, understand which illustrates the why are we listening to these places around the world? What is the meaning of these places? ¿Qué significan estos países y por qué los escuchamos? Any idea? ¿Por qué escuchamos estos países? Who can tell me? ¿Cómo fue, Tisha? No lo escuché. Uh -huh. No, yo no lo entendí a usted. ¿Puede repetirlo? Okay, why are we listening to these places? ¿Por qué escuchamos la pronunciación de estos países? ¿A qué se refiere cuando los está mencionando? ¿De qué vamos a hablar? Why are we talking about these places in the world? The time. Las zonas horarias. Las zonas horarias. Las zonas horarias. We're talking about time zones. Time zones. Can you recognize in which Time zone, are we close? ¿Cuál será nuestro time zone o cuál es el más cercano a nosotros? ¿Por dónde estaremos nosotros? Can you tell me? Uh, Mexico. Probably, right? Mexico City? Yes, right? So that is yes. the closest. Ese es el más cercano a nosotros. Mexico City. That is a time zone. Estas zonas son tomadas como referencia a la hora de establecer 
un horario o hacer un cambio de horario, you know? So, if somebody asks you about your time zone, you can mention the one that is close to Mexico City. Esa nos corresponde, okay? Mexico City. Now, if you see, we have a conversation. Let's listen to the conversation and then we are going to practice the conversation. Here we go. Sydney. Now, let's listen to a conversation which illustrates the importance of understanding different time zones. Let's listen and repeat. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? Oh, right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's 4 o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m.? Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Now it's your time to practice the conversation that we just heard. And also, I would like for you to answer the following questions in our discussion forums. Okay. By looking at the map, which cities are in the same time zone? Which cities are in your time zone? Now, let's go back to the conversation and tell me. That's okay. What is this girl's name? What's his name? What's her name? Do you know their names? What's her name? What's her name? Debbie. 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 Her name is Debbie. Debbie. What's his name? Debbie. John. 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 The conversation is between Debbie and John. Can you tell me where is John in this conversation or in this moment? Where is him? John. Huh? Is John in Los Angeles right now? Is John in Central America or where is he? In Australia. Australia. Oh, he's Australia. in Australia right Australia. now. And what is he doing in Australia? What is he doing in Australia? A conference. conference. Ah, exactly. He is at a conference in Sydney, Australia. And tell me more information about Debbie. Where is Debbie in this moment? Debbie was sleeping. Okay, she was sleeping. And where is she in this moment? In what country, in what city, or what place is she in this moment? She is in Los Angeles. There we go. She is in Los Angeles right now, Angeles. And what is she doing in this moment? Or what was she doing in this moment? ¿Qué estaba haciendo, Debbie? What was she doing? She was? Sleeping. She was sleeping. She was sleeping. But now she is awakened. Now ya está despierta. The conversation goes like this. Hello. Hi, Debbie. This is John. I'm calling from Australia. I'm calling from Australia. Australia? I'm at a conference in Sydney, remember? All right. What time is it there? It's 10 p.m. and it's four o'clock there in Los Angeles, right? Yes, four o'clock in the morning. 4 a.m. Oh, I'm really sorry. That's okay. I'm awake now. Esa es la conversación que tienen. Can you identify what are the expressions for asking and also to express time. ¿Cuáles son las frases que ocuparon en la conversación para expresar tiempo o para preguntar tiempo? Can you identify? We have different expressions to ask about time or to express about time. Yes, class, which are they? 
What time is there? Okay, time very good job. Time. Look, mm -hmm. this is a question to ask about time. Muy bien. What time is it there? ¿Qué hora es allá? What time is it there? Look. 10 p.m. It's 10 p.m. Es otra expresión para dar hora, no para pedirla. Very good. Another one. Miren, it's four o'clock. Four o'clock. En punto. It's four o'clock, exactly. Four o'clock. We have the expression in the morning. And we also have the expression a.m. What time is it? It's 10 p.m. It's 4 o'clock. In the morning, 4 a.m. We have five different examples on how to ask for the time and also how to answer if somebody asks us what time is it. Bien, <coughs> esta es la conversación. Ahora veamos el otro ejercicio. At the end, we have some questions. ¿Qué preguntas nos pidió responder? Look. These are the ones. Listen. Which cities are in the same time zone? Ya Which cities are in your time zone? Okay. Which cities are in your time zone? Tenemos muchos ejemplos de ciudades que tienen nuestra misma hora. 8 and 15 mm -hmm. minutes. ¿Qué ciudades o qué países son? Do you know? Which cities or which countries have the same time zone as in El Salvador? Salvador. Do you know? Mm -hmm. Mexico. ¿Qué países tienen nuestro ben. mismo zona horaria? Costa Rica. Guatemala. Costa Rica. Centroamérica. Honduras. Exactly. Honduras. Nicaragua. Nicaragua. Or we can say Central America. Panama. Same time zone. Does Panama has the same time zone? También Panama lo tiene, yes. Okay, so what time is it? in Costa Rica right now. Can you tell me what time is it in Costa Rica in this moment? It is 8.17 o'clock. It's 8.17 p.m. PM. Very good. What time is it in Guatemala in this moment? It is 8.00. It is 8.00. 8, 16. 8, 16. Yeah. Very good. What time is it in Nicaragua in this moment? What time is it? 16 p.m. 17 p.m. 8, 17 p.m. Very good. 8, 17. Please, class, eh, creo que hay algún micrófono que tiene interferencia ahorita. Tengamos cuidado de los micrófonos, ¿ok? Para que no podamos, eh, no solo por la lluvia, escucho bien bajito, sino que a veces solo la interferencia. Ok, excelente. Same time zone. Ahora, ya saben todos how to ask for the time. Esa pregunta, créanme que es bien eh, fácil de identificar. What time is it? But you know, we also have another expression on how to ask for the time. También existe una o dos más expresiones para preguntar la hora. ¿Será que ustedes saben? Can you give me an example? ¿O han escuchado otra? Aparte de what time is it? Any other expression to ask about the time? ¿Qué otra expresión han escuchado? What time is it? Is the most common expression to ask about the time. ¿Pero qué otra expresión han escuchado? Esta es la más famosa, la más común. What time is it? ¿No? ¿No han escuchado ninguna otra? Yes or no? Si no aprendemos esta noche, look. Hey, excuse me. 
do you have the time? But this is very formal, muy formal. Excuse me. Do you have the time? Do you have the time? But it's very formal. But it is also correct. You can say what time is it? Or you can also say, do you have the time? What is the difference? That this is very formal. This one, this expression is very, very formal. Okay? But if you want to use the expression, that's okay. But in this class, in this opportunity, we are going to practice using this one. What time is it? Okay? This is just extra information. Let's go back to the platform and let's listen to this explanation. Here we go. It's 12 o'clock at night. It's 3 in the afternoon. Okay, here we go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using time expressions. Let's get started by looking at some clocks which are expressing the time. Okay. Let's listen and repeat. It's one o'clock. It's one o five. It's five after one. It's one fifteen. It's a quarter after one. It's one thirty. It's one forty. It's twenty to two. It's one forty-five. It's a quarter to two. Now, okay, let me go back. Now, if you see, what we, want we have some examples on how to express the time. We can have this expression, a clock, when we want to refer to the exact time. Or exact, okay? O'clock. O'clock. It's one o'clock. Can we say, in this example, it's one o'clock? Podríamos decir acá, it's one o'clock? Yes or no? No. No. No? Pero si solo te pasé un minuto, is it one or one o'clock? No. no. How about this one? What time is it? Two o'clock. Two o'clock. What time is it? It's twelve o'clock. What time is your English class? It's eight. Very good. What time is it? Look at the time. It's nine o'clock. Very good. What time is it? It's three o'clock. Very good. So the expression of clock, it is only when we are referring to exact time. No podemos tener un minuto menos, ni un minuto más. Esto ya no es o'clock, no. And this one is not o'clock, okay? Ahí, olvidémonos de la expresión o'clock. Only exact time. This is not an example of exact time. Okay? Very good. First expression, o'clock. Second expression that we are going to practice is this one. After. After. If you see in this clock, what time is it in this clock? ¿Qué hora es acá? What time is it? It's uh, one. It's five after one. It's one five after five. five. Or we can say it's five after one. Ah, but look at this one. También esto es importante resaltarlo. 
Oh, oh. Do you remember? ¿Cuándo es que pronunciábamos O oh en lugar de cero? ¿En qué oportunidad vimos eso y qué ejemplo era? ¿Cuándo decíamos O oh y no decíamos cero? Do you remember? The number. Exactly. The when, number cell phone. Exactly. Number. When giving cell phone numbers. Ah. Now we have another example. Look. ¿Qué ejemplo tenemos ahora? Cuando decimos la hora y lleva un cero también. So, giving the time is another example on how to use the expression oh. This is a great example. What time is it, class? It's three. Oh, five. What time is it? Hmm? It's two o two. What time is it? It's six o four. It's six o four. What time is it, class? Seven o nine. What time is it? It's eight o one. Whenever we have the time and it's going from eight o one, cuando sea desde la cero uno, como en este ejemplo hasta las o oh, nine, remember, we are not going to say it's seven zero nine now. We are going to say O, oh, O oh, nine, O oh, two, O oh, five, O oh, four, and O oh, one. Estamos claros con esta parte también. Is it clear? Yes. Very good. Yes, please tell me. Do you have a question? No? Okay. The expression after, when are we going to use the expression after? When we go, miren, cuando vamos desde, acá, cuando han pasado cinco minutos hasta, que han pasado twenty five minutes. We are going to use the expression after. This is like another way of expressing the time. For example, we can say that it's seven o five. O podemos decir, it's five after seven. Mm -hmm. It's five after seven. Son cinco después de las siete. O de qué otra forma lo decimos? It's seven o five. What time is it, class? What time is it? It's three or four. 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 After. Very good job. It means four minutes after three. It's three or four. It's four after three. Let's continue practicing. What time is it? ¿Qué hora es clase? It's nine. No. Nine. 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 After nine. After nine. 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 Nine.
It's anyway. ten after nine. After, después, after. We can also have the same expression, but referring to water. Look, same expression, misma expresión, after, but now we are expressing about 15 minutes. When we have like this one, cuando tenemos expresiones con 15, 15, in Spanish it's very common to say a quarter, un cuarto, un cuarto, ok, como similar a la expresión en español. So we can say it's 9.15 or we can also say it's a, uh, quarter. a quarter after. Water. Water. Cuarto. No es nada común escuchar esto. After nine. Si está correcto gramaticalmente, yes, pero mm, no vamos a usar la expresión 15. ¿Qué vamos a utilizar? Water. Water. Ok, está claro. No digamos it's 15 after 9. We are going to say it's a quarter after 9. It's a quarter after 9. Ok. Let's practice. Díganme qué hora es. What time is it, class? Yes. Silvia, what time it's, is it? It's okay. a quarter after it's seven. seven. It's a quarter <laughs> after okay. seven. It's a quarter after seven. It's a, it's a, it's a quarter after, after seven. It's a quarter after, 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 after seven. seven. Very good. It's a quarter it's after a seven. Quarter after it's seven. a quarter after seven. seven. Okay. It's a quarter after seven. Bien, practicamos. Let's practice right now. I'm going to write some times. Hemos practicado cinco y horas exactas y quince minutos. Here we go, everybody. What time is it? Teacher. Tell me. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Okay, but wait. Seven o'clock. ¿Quién dijo seven? Teacher. ¿Quién tiene preguntas? Hojas a... Yes. No? Questions. Hola, teacher. Este, yes, no le escuché, no le escuché muy bien uh -huh. este, cuando dijo dónde teníamos que utilizar el after, after. creo que era. Yeah. After. ¿Cuándo no, estamos no hablando? A, a quarter, algo así. Después de la última explicación que dio. No le escuché muy bien, es que tengo mala señal. Ah, ok, don't worry. Cuando dijo 15, ¿cómo fue que dijo? Quarter, quarter. La expresión de que no vamos a utilizar 15, ¿será eso? ¿Sí? sí vale, eh, pues, ¿Dónde está? Y a quarter. A quarter. Quarter es similar a la expresión que usamos en español. Un cuarto. Cuarto. O un cuarto de hora, ¿ok? Entonces... Cuando nos referamos a 15 minutos, vamos a utilizar la expresión quarter. Y le daba el ejemplo, dice este example. Acá no podemos decir, miren, it's 1.15, primera forma de decirlo. Pero lo que no podemos decir es, it's 15 after one. Esta expresión, si es cierto que está correcta gramaticalmente, pero mm -mm, reemplazamos esto, 15, por la expresión quarter. If you want to sound natural, si quieren sonar natural en inglés, decimos mejor quarter. A quarter, perdón, aquí me falta A. It's a quarter after 
Déjenme escribirlo otra vez. Se ve feo. A quarter. Ahí estamos. After one. It's a quarter after one. Cuando ha pasado 15 minutos decimos quarter. Cuando han pasado 5 minutos, ahí no cambia. Decimos five. Cuando han pasado 10 minutos, no cambia. Decimos ten. Pero cuando son 15 minutos, quarter. ¿Ok? Quarter. Solo okay, son expresiones. Muy bien. Thank you. You're welcome. Vamos a practicar. Here we go. Y luego continuamos. Don't worry. Creo que esta clase va a ser de bastante explicación, pero es necesario para que nos quede claro el tema. Here we go. Vámonos horas exactas. What time is it? Eight o'clock. What time is it? Seven What time is it? It's twelve o'clock. What time is it? Or five after after seven. After seven. Muy bien. En this one. Primera forma de decirlo. What time is it? Okay, no, it's not that one. Esa quería decir. This one class. What time is it? It's nine or after it's nine or after nine. It's nine oh five. It's nine oh five nine. or five after nine. nine. And the last one, veamos la última. Five after. What time is it? Now let me ask some of you. Les pregunto a algunos en específico. Quiero que me ocupen la expresión after refiriéndome a esta misma hora after Cristina usando la expresión after please what time is it the first one what time is it it's eight after 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 five it's eight after five Clase será it's eight after five. No, no, no. Ah, no. Eight after five. ah, okay. ¿Cómo es? Okay, Cristina. Yo sé que Cristina puede hacerlo. Uh, Please, Cristina. Five after eight. Eight after eight. Eight after eight. Yes. Um, ya me confundí. No. <laughs> Fácil. ¿Cuántos minutos han pasado de las Pero ocho? Cristina? Tiene que ser all or after. Con after, with after, con la expresión after. Mm -hmm. okay, it's, it's five after okay. eight. Muy bien. Así. Sí, si se fijan, lo que estamos diciendo, que han pasado cinco de las ocho. Son cinco ocho. después de las ocho. Very good job. Carlos, number two, please. Me escucha, Yes, I can. Que sería five after seven. One more time, please. 
Ah, ¿qué le falta a clase? It is. It's ah. Ah. Esta expresión, si no me la ocupan, es que está incompleta mi oración. What time is it, Carlos? One more time, okay. please. Ok. Excelente. Yes, what time is it? This one. It's five after seven. Very good. It's five after seven. Elena, please, what time is it? It's five after nine. There you go. Excellent job. Sylvia, Elizabeth, what time is it? It's nine after 12. Five after 12. Very good job. Let's practice now. Practiquemos con otras horas. Look, class, what time is it? Let me write this one. What time is it? Se los escribo. Give me one second. I'm going to write examples and then we are going to practice. It's quarter. It's quarter. Ocupemos siempre after. I want to listen after. It's quarter after eight. It's a quarter after eight. It's cuando? Quarter. Now, eso quiero escuchar ahorita. After and quarter. Let me see Catherine, the first one, please. Catherine, what time is it? It's after. Primero es after, luego quarter, ¿verdad? No. Primero es quarter, luego after. Yes, okay, déjeme cambiarlo. Yes, first is quarter and then after. Okay. It's a quarter after eight. Very good job. Eunice, please, the second one. It's a quarter after seven. There we go. Maritza, number three is for you. Maritza Elizabeth. Okay. It's, it's, it's quarter after seven. Number three? Number three, please. Oh, number three. Yes, this one. Um, it's, okay. It's quarter um, after 10. Nine. It's quarter uh -huh. after 10. It's Nine. a quarter after 10. Eso es lo que me dice Maritza. Mira. Ay, it's perdón, a perdón, quarter perdón. after 10. Nine. Nine, perdón. <laughs> ah, nine. Perdón, perdón. Don't nine, worry. <laughs> Don't worry. Very good. Sara Elizabeth, the last one is for you. This one. <laughs> It is a quarter after 12. Very good job. Questions about this one, class. ¿Cómo vamos con estas expresiones? After and a quarter after. Vamos bien. ¿Sí? Yes. Bien. Yes, yes. 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 Okay. Voy despacio porque prefiero que nos quede claro y mañana practicamos con la hora. After that, we have the expression 30. 30, y saben que aquí no han incluido una. Yo se las incluyo. A, ha. Half, half. Cuando ha pasado media hora, decimos half. Half significa mitad, en este caso 30 minutos. We can say it's 1.30 or it's a half past one. Look at this example. It's 1.30. It's a half past Wow. Uh -huh. O puedo decir también, it's a half past 
One. Muy bien. It's a half. Past one. Aquí no está incluida, pero así se dice. Tenemos la expresión para los 15 minutos que es quarter. Y tenemos la expresión para los 30 minutos que es half. Ok, that's it. No hay otras expresiones que incluir. 30 oh. sería half y 15 minutos quarter. Oh. Quarter. Very good job. It's a half past one. Ahora practiquemos utilizando la expresión half. 30 minutos. 30 minutes. Yes. And listen. Another thing. Otra cosa que aclarar. Esta expresión solo la vamos a ocupar cuando pasaron 30 minutos. No cuando faltan 30 minutos. Porque no es común expresar esto. ¿Qué hora es? Ah, faltan 30 para las 10. ¿Verdad que no lo usamos en español? No, right? No. Faltan, no. Decimos lo contrario. Pasaron 30 de las 9. Pasaron 30. O en este caso en inglés, half. Half, la mitad. Half. Look. Half. 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 La L no suena en esta palabra. No es half. Es como half. Se escribe así, pero se pronuncia half. Very good job. Let's practice. What time is it? Look. ¿Qué hora es clase? It's a half past nine. It's a half past nine. What time is it? It's a half past nine. 10. ¿Qué hora es? It's a half. 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 past 10. Muy bien. How about this one? What time is it? It's a half. Okay, now this one is for Ruth Elizabeth. What time is it? It's a half. No, it's a half past one. It's a half past one. Muy bien, Natanael. What time is it? Half past twelve. Half past twelve. Rosa Karina, what time is it? A half past ten. Very good job. Very good job. Soyla, can you tell me what time is it? It's a half past 12. Very good. Jocelyn Yvette, what time is it? It's a half past two. Very good job. It's a half past. Don't forget this expression. It's a half past. Y luego mencionamos la hora, ¿ok? De la una pasaron 30, de las dos. It's a half past. Pasaron. Lo que les decía, no decimos, o es rarísimo decir, faltan 30 para las 3 de la tarde. Mm, not even in Spanish. Faltan 30 para la una. No, right? It's not common to say that. Faltan 30 para las 8. What is that? No, no decimos esa expresión. Entonces solo lo vamos a utilizar cuando ya pasaron los 30. Bien. It's a half past. Y la otra era. It's a quarter. Past. Miren, dos expresiones muy utilizadas. Pasaron 15 y pasaron 30. ¿Ok? 
that the masses expressan normalmente. Questions. Or is it all clear? Estamos claros. It's clear. Yes. Bien. Yes. Uh -huh. Very good. Last two expressions for today. Last two expressions for today. Look. Ya repasamos la expresión past. Pasaron. Teacher, pero ¿qué si falta? En este caso, 20 minutos para que termine la clase. Ah, it's 22. It's a quarter two. In English, we are going to find three different expressions. Tenemos tres expresiones, ¿ok? Number one, o'clock. Number two, Cuatro. la expresión que sería after. after. Y la expresión que es tú, para. O sea, me hacen falta. O'clock, after, and two. Miren el ejemplo que tenemos. What time is it? It's 1.40. Es la 1 y 40. O puedo decir que faltan cuántos minutos para las dos. How much time? Bien, faltan 20 para las dos. So, decimos 20. otra vez. It's 20 to, to one. Uh, to two. Ajá, porque faltan 20 a las dos. Faltan 20 para las dos. It's 20 to two. Vamos a practicar. Here we go. It's 20 to two. It's. Pueden ser 20. también cinco minutos, faltan cinco. Faltan 20, faltan 10. Creo que es lo más común de decir, ¿verdad? Ustedes deciden, uh -huh. faltan 25 minutos, faltan 20 minutos, faltan 10, 5. Depende de la hora que ustedes quieran expresar. Let's practice. What time is it? What time is it? La primera sería lo normal. It's 10. Ten. Very, very good. Or it's. ¿Cuánto falta para las 11 en este caso? 25. ¿Cuánto falta? 25. Ah, entonces decimos. It's 25 para las 11. Faltan 25 para las 11. Muy bien. It's 25 to 11. Así. What time is it, class? Who can tell me? What time is it? Audi. Veamos con Audi. What time is it, Audi? 55 um, to... 11. It's, faltan 55 para las 11. ¿Será clase? ¿Cómo decimos? No, uh, mí, no. No, Ajá, no, no, teacher. Yeah, okay. it's it's five. Uh, Miren lo que me están diciendo. Faltan cinco para las once. ¿Será correcto? Para dos. Oh, no, no, para las once. Faltan cinco para las doce. Como la canción, right? Como la canción. What a coincidence. Faltan cinco para las doce. No, it's five to twelve, teacher. No confundamos, no vamos a leer en este caso el 11, porque no faltan 5 para las 11. No, sino para la hora que viene, la hora exacta. Be careful. Let me see. Este va para, let me ask, Eric, Eric David. What time is it? 
What time is it, Eric David? Mm, okay. Mayra Xiomara. Probably she is there. What time is it? It's fine. Okay. It's uh, 55. 55. Okay. It's 255 or. Uh, okay. Ocupemos la expresión to, para. ¿Cuántos faltan para las tres? Vea. Muy bien. Mira, Cher. El, el primero no es 1035. Ah, aquí la... Ok, thank you. Me faltó el que? Five, ¿verdad? Five, five. Aquí estamos. Thank you. Gracias, muchas gracias. Buen detalle. Vean la hora. What time is it? La hora que tenemos ahorita. Podemos utilizarlo. What time is it? It's five to nine. Excellent. It's five to nine. It's five to nine. That's a ten. Very good. Classic. What time is it? It's five to one. Five to one. Five to one. Muy bien. Miren esta expresión. ¿Qué hora es? Ya no faltan cinco. ¿Cuánto falta? It's a quarter. 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 To one. It's a quarter to one. What time is it? It's a quarter. Ah, it's ten. Two. Ten. Ten. Ten to ten. Ten to ten. Ten to ten. Muy bien. It's ten to ten. Y tenemos la expresión que nos hacen falta cinco. Miren qué hora es. What time is it? It's five to five. Five to eight. It's not five to seven. It's five to eight. Falta cinco a las nueve. Five to eight. Bien. Las expresiones que aprendimos es after o clock and two. ¿Cómo decimos cuando pasaron 15 de la hora a quarter after? Cuando ya pasó media hora. ¿Cómo digo? ¿A quarter? No. ¿Cómo digo cuando hacen falta? Me hacen falta cinco para las ocho. Sería two. 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 Faltan quince para las ocho. Fifteen. Two. Okay. Don't forget. Les voy a enviar esas expresiones al chat para que repasemos mañana. Les pongo diferentes horas y ustedes van a leerlas de diferentes maneras. Bien, vamos a chequear la asistencia. Preguntas, questions about this one. Don't worry, tomorrow vamos a seguir con el mismo tema. No se preocupen si eh, queda pendiente alguna pregunta. Let me see. Training. Please stay here or present. Díganme aquí o aquí o presente. Vamos a ver. Auri Joana. Present. Cristina América. Present, Miss. Se me había salido, pero lo voy a recobrar. Ok, that's great. Delmis Elizabeth. Eric David. Eric Omar Present. 
present. There we go. Fernando Heriberto. Present. Guadalupe Elena. Present. Jenny Elizabeth. Present. Ivan Alexander. I guess he is not here. Karen Jamilex. Present. Karina Alejandra. Present. Catherine Yasmin. Present. Mayra Xiomara. Present. Maritza Elizabeth. Present teacher. Natanael Adonai. Present. Noemí Esperanza. Present. Rosa Karina. Present. Ruth Elizabeth. Present. Santos Carlos. Present teacher. Sara Elizabeth. Present teacher. Silvia Elizabeth. Present. Present. Sofía Michelle. Sofi. Hola, hola. Hi. Present. ¿Se salió? Ok. Susana Elizabeth. Present. Toyita Eunice. Present, teacher. Excellent. Jocelyn Yvette. Present teacher. Soy la esperanza. Present. Bien, clase. Vamos a continuar con el mismo tema in tomorrow's class, ok? Do not forget to practice. Tomorrow we are going to have a similar activity on how to express the time, ok? Thank you so much for coming today and we are going to see each other in tomorrow's class. Bye bye, class. Bye. Have a good night. Bye. 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 Good night to you. Bye, teacher. Good night. Bye. Bye, Sophie. Good night. See you tomorrow.